Hey all, back at the tailgate here on the tundra, right in the friggin' in the yard. Um, so I got the firebox uh, stove lit up here, and uh, gonna get that roaring. Got a bunch of little blocks all processed up. Like I said, just a tailgate lunch kind of thing, right in the driveway. But uh, right here we have um, my panini press. It's uh, what they call a pie iron. It's made out of cast iron. Uh, locks open and, sorry, locks closed. Comes right apart. Oh, you see that right in there. So we're going to uh, oil it up. We're going to warm it up on the firebox stove here. If we get it going, we will get it going. And uh, we're, we're going to make some uh, grilled cheese. I think it's uh, ham and Swiss grilled cheese. Stay tuned. Hey folks, so we got the firebox just a roar in there. We got the panini press just warming up, so I'm going to take it off and uh, put it on the side here and uh, oil it up. And uh, we're going to do our first uh, grilled cheese. Uh, this is my first attempt. I've seasoned this twice, so uh, I'm just going to flip that right now. So you can tell it's nice and dark on top there. That uh, charbroiled from using jack pine and any conifers wood. So it'll get all nice and stained in black, but anyways, stay tuned, uh, see what happens. So, just those quarter sticks of butter there. Pie iron's nice and hot. Get that nice sides, a little extra butter. Tell that's, sorry, better keep the camera on focus, eh? But yeah, nice and hot, see, sizzling. But yeah, this is little quarter sticks of uh, butter. And uh, we'll see what happens. So it's nice and warm. We'll give the uh, fire ch firebox here a chance to uh, come back up there. It's actually working really nice. A little breeze there today and get it all nice and hot. Nice and hot, not rot, hot. So. All right, so we're going to that back together oops squeeze that all in it's got a nice little clip here on the side handles to hold them together but yeah just a little bit of bread sticking out everything looks good a little tough to have video and do that kind of stuff but hey let's give it a try see what happens so we'll uh, do two or three minutes per side. And uh, what's nice about this is uh, we can check it, see what happens. So anyways. Hey friends. So it's been uh, three minutes on one side. And uh, this is my first time using it. So let's uh, give this a uh, little check, see what's going on. Well, we got sizzling happen, action. Sorry, trying to keep you guys in focus here, but uh, there we go. This one-handed stuff is uh, a little tough, but oh, what do you think of that? Yeah, three minutes per side. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Cheese is melted. Yeah, let's do that again. Hey folks, so it's been another three minutes. So we're gonna pull that off over here. Open her up. Oh, look at that. Ooh, sweet. So folks, I saved you the boredom of putting the uh, second grilled cheese in. Uh, first one looks perfect. Uh, like the pit masters uh, say, I didn't get the, uh, you know, they apologized for testing it. Well, I didn't get to test it. Somebody else got it, but it's all good. So we'll make a few more. And uh, like I said, it's three minutes per side. Little firebox is just rolling. It's got that nice blue purplish hue there, the stainless steel turning colors. So still got a good supply of wood. Got our little cube of uh, butter there. We just keep re-oiling it. 
So, anyways, keep it tuned, keep it tuned. Hey folks, I'm going to pull this off. This is the third one um, I've made. And uh, sent the first one in to my wife. Uh, no feedback. And then the second one, Pitmaster Privileges. I got to eat that one. It was amazing. So, you can hear obviously a really nice sizzle going on there. Flip in the plate. Look at that. Yeah, three minutes per side. I think uh, this is going to be my uh, new fishing buddy and uh, hiking buddy. Make a fire because it's made out of cast. You can put it right in. Just careful of the wooden handles. Anyways, stay tuned to uh, In the Woods Crafting and Adventures. And, uh, if uh, you guys want to pitch in on a loaf of bread and a few slices of cheese, uh, we can have this experience out in the bush, along the river or someplace like that. Anyways, stay tuned.